Wow, something is all messed up with my um, stream streamlabs. Look at this. What the heck is this? Look at all these lives. Do I really have all these lives set up? There should only be the 1045s. What are all these? What is going on? Go for grub up. What's going on? There's something really bizarre right now. So I have to go look if that really is the case there. Um, that's just freaking bizarre. Content live. Oh my goodness, no. Let me see. No. I just have the right ones. One, two, three, three upcoming. What is that about? I probably have to restart it. I'll restart it tonight. I don't know. It's going crazy, right? It's flipping out. It's flipping out. All right, I'll restart it tonight. Okay, so now listen. If you cannot respect people's views, I don't know. And, and I'm saying I'm not saying you guys. Uh, there was some lady in the chat and someone we've never heard of um, going off. You're welcome to call in. You're there's the pin post. You can call in here and you can express your views like a civil, you know, discussion. That's fine. I don't care what what. You know, if you don't feel the same way I do, that's fine. But I'm going to tell you what I heard today. And um, as other people will tell you, um, Historic Publishing said it, that I was very hopeful with Harley. And I even prayed for her that she would be able to get through this. I had never heard her give an interview or anything like that. The only thing I heard was the little clip when when Leticia pulled her over to say that she had seen Gannon. And she didn't sound like she did on the stand today. And I will have you know that we also went into her TikTok after the trial and listened to her voice. And her voice does not always sound like that. Just so you know. Okay. Um, so why do I feel that way? I feel that way because I got a bad vibe when she was testifying. She, I didn't see, I didn't take her as truthful. I didn't feel she was being truthful. I felt she was calculated. I felt she didn't remember certain things. But what sealed the deal for me was that she was concerned only with herself when she said, if my mother knew that she was going to do this, she should have set me up financially. And that the lies on her GoFundMe all of that. Not if my mother thought she could do this. I wish she would have told someone and got help and Gannon would still be here and our family would still be together. No, it was all about her. Yeah, okay. It wasn't anything about killing Gannon. Okay. Well, I guess if you have to kill Gannon, kill Gannon, but I really wish you would have set me up financially first. So, un you know, so irresponsible for you to leave me without without any financial help. And that was a lie too, because her aunt was helping her. So I was very unimpressed with her. I felt she was a liar. And I think that what she said there at the end, and when she said, and when this happened to me, no, it happened to Gannon, your mother killed Gannon didn't happen to you and I'm sorry completely self-absorbed 
And I think she's doing it for one reason, and it's to protect her image. Yep, on Instagram and TikTok. She doesn't want to be known. She doesn't want to be known as anybody that has is affiliated with Letitia Stout. And you know what else? If she would have come on like Letitia's brother, if she would have come on and said, you know, I was manipulated and controlled by my mother. Yes, I went downstairs and changed my clothing because they have the films. Yes, I smelled something in that van. Yes, after the fact, I, I realized that I think my mother did something and I, and I probably should have said something sooner, but I was scared of my mother. If she would have come on and said that and had real emotion like the brother did, she would have come out of this a hero. Okay? But what she did doesn't say hero at all. Not at all. So you're, well, you're welcome to come up and uh, discuss it. If you're in Slack, you can call in to talk about it. If you're not in Slack, you can email me. But sorry, that's my opinion. I'm entitled to it. If it bothers you, I'm sorry. Fazia says, I felt Gannon was lost in her whole testimony. Me too. You can convince me otherwise. I'm not sure what that means, Nikki. Um, Free Willie said, her testimony did not feel from the heart, nor real compassion towards Gannon. Not at all when this happened to me. My mother should have set me up financially if she knew she was going to do this. What she's really saying is, when my mother was going to plan the murder of my stepbrother, she really should have thought about me. And she really should have thought about setting me up with a trust fund or something. Yeah. Hi, little lady. I think her mom ruled with an iron fist, and even if she did smell something or hear something or whatever, yeah, that's fine, Nikki. That's fine. She can say that, but that's not what she said. She said she didn't smell anything. She didn't have time to get her clothes out. There were so many blatant lies. You're sitting in a truck for days, and you show up to a hotel, and you don't say, let me go up and take a shower and change my clothes. My clothes are in the back, but no, we don't have time to get them. That's a lie. How come they didn't ask her who took that van on that three-mile jaunt? Carolyn, did you notice my comment on your earlier stream in the comment section? It's probably not popular either. N no, I didn't get to look at that yet. Oh, there is no Zoom. I'm sorry, L. Hold on, let me just... I gotta log into Slack because I closed my whole uh, Chrome down because of that crazy way it was acting. Okay, and let me check my email because I closed all that down too.
Let me go back to... Sorry, L L Lisa, hold on. Let me see if I can grab... She wasn't even capable of opening the door for Pizza Man without getting her mother's permission. I think Harley, even if there were signs, would have missed them. I don't think so. But it's okay. Hi, Al. Hello, Sue Scooter. Historic says, I noted in the comments how she even expressed herself when lying exactly the same in new video and testimony, specifically when they say... Yes, it's an insightful tell sign. Yeah, and she had like lots of body language. Um, hi, Al, what'd you think? I agree with you 100%. Um, I thought she has two, di I think she has two different voices. There's like this really quiet, sweet voice, and I think she uses it when she's lying. But I was reading about it. And pathological lying can be a learned behavior from a very young age. And I believed she might have learned this from her mother, this pathological lying, lying pattern, pathological lying pattern. Mm -hmm. And I don't believe that all this stuff just went over her head that day. All these crazy things that were happening, like the difference in her mother's pattern of calling her and things she was saying to her and the way she, her actions were, um, the way she was acting when this girl got home from work and stuff like that. Yeah. With the smells and the everything going on in the house and the way Gannon wasn't around. I just don't think that, I think that she must have known for her mother's prior behaviors that something was going on. Um, I don't think she was all that innocent in it. And I think that she knows more than she's telling. And I also think that when she cried so much about the GoFundMe, and not so much about Gannon about anything. That mm -hmm. was very telling too, when she was just crying about something that had to do with herself as opposed to do with the murder. Right, a and that GoFundMe the... created this past January, not as, as a yeah. kid, not as a kid, guys. Right. Like just a few months ago, just a couple of months ago. She, she seemed to cry more for any more than for anything else for herself. You know, and she's she has no reason to fear for her mother now. Her mother's going to jail for life. Her mother has no power over her. Her mother has no financial control over her. Her mother has right. no physical control over her. Her mother right. has, you know, she just walked out of there. She hasn't seen her mother since the day her mother was arrested. She, so there's no reason for her not to tell the truth now. She's got an uncle that's obviously sees the wrong his sister's done. Um she seems, you know, I think there's also some lying about nursing school a little bit because I don't know how anybody can be in nursing school and spend the amount of time in Grenada that she did. Right. Um, it doesn't, you know, and when the prosecutor asked her something like, you're doing well in nursing school or something, and she, was, and she gave a... A weird answer, like at the moment, or yeah, kind. Of, it, there was like it wasn't. There wasn't. Oh yes, I'm graduating at this point. Um, you know, it wasn't, and I'm tending to see the way the mother lied about jobs and professions. That you know, maybe it's a pattern, and you have to realize there were also some heredity issues. You know. Um, there was a lot of pausing. There was a lot of, I don't remember. I don't recall. But she didn't know. speak like that. She, that was a put on voice. Mm -hmm. She had a regular voice. And mm -hmm. when she was in that interview with the news, she didn't speak like she did on the stand. If you go to her TikTok, she speaks sometimes that she can speak in a regular voice, not a little baby mouse voice. And mm -hmm. when the police got them in marshals, she was screaming and and hysterical so you know this was like i don't know it just seemed very calculated and i'm sorry i didn't buy she had no credibility to me and jurors are said you know the judge says listen you judge which witnesses you deem credible 
you can t believe some of what they testify about or none of what they testify about. That's up to the juror. And myself, if I was a juror, I would discount all of her testimony because I did not feel she was a truthful person. And that's my opinion. I feel the same way, Carolyn. So I when I would go in the jury room, I would say, you know, I, her, her testimony was useless to me. And mm -hmm. so today was just like kind of a lost day because I really thought she was going to bring some truth out there. I really did. I had every hope that she would. She wasn't very convincing and she didn't seem to care much. She seemed apathetic to Gannon's plight. The question she is lying about. Anne says, me too, Carolyn. So you think she had, no. See, you're missing the point, Angie. Because I'm, think, I'm saying that she wasn't truthful, that doesn't mean I think she had something to do with the murder. And that's what you're missing. I think that she's not being truthful when she said she didn't go downstairs to her room, but she was in the house 17 minutes. I think she's not truthful when she said she didn't smell anything in the van. I think she's not truthful when she said she never went in the van to get clothing or anything else, even though she needed it. I don't think she is truthful. That doesn't mean she had something to do with the murder. That is not what I said. Exactly, I don't think she had anything to do with the murder either. Right. But I think that she knew way on right on like way in the beginning in the beginning she was in the very beginning she was getting onto it the whole truth is nothing but the truth would have been so much easier for her it's a, yes it should, would have been you know I mean I don't think she had anything to do with it but she knew more yeah so what effect would that have on the outcome of the case so what effect? She's not a credible witness, Angie. That's what it is. She's not credible. That's my opinion. I think there is some disassociation going on with Harley, having to accept but there's more than that. There's all than that. The, the way she was out only for herself. When this happened to me, there was no Gannon in there. My mother thought she was going to do this. She should have set me up financially. Yeah, that was an And there was story. not even, a, uh, even trying to walk that back after that got out of her mouth. She didn't even try to walk that back. Okay? She just kept going with that. Lying that she lost lying that she lost both of her parents in 2017, that's a lie. She didn't explain that her mother is uh, in jail awaiting trial. She didn't explain that her father died years before. When asked, what did the downstairs, what was it like? What did it smell like? Was there an odor? There was an odor. The investigator said there was a urine odor from dog urine. And she goes, no, because my mother's so very clean, OCD clean. That's more about her image and how she lived. Because I think to say that she was sleeping amongst carpets that stunk of dog urine that's not a good look and I think she was very concerned with her image her Instagram and her TikTok because she's a social media influencer and it's not going to bode well you know other things Her dad died of an overdose, and she didn't find that out until recently. She thought he was uh, murdered, according to what Letitia told her. She needed someone on the internet to tell her.
I don't really believe that either. And when the uh, defense attorney said, well, you didn't really lose your parents, your mother's still alive. No, she wouldn't back down from that. And she said on that GoFundMe, she didn't have anybody support. She's made it on her own. That's a lie. Her aunt was helping her financially. And her fiance's family, yeah, she's worried how she's going to look to them. It's a lot about appearances. When he went off to Grenada to go to veterinary school, first thing she said was, I'm going to be married to a doctor. Go, go look on your Instagram if you don't believe me. Um, it's about appearances. I agree. I finally had to stop watching. Yeah, I, 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 she was frustrating in every way to me, and I had the most hope for her. I thought she would be someone that was going to champion for Gannon, somebody that was going to do the right thing, like Letitia's brother, but she wasn't. She wasn't that person. Finally had to stop watching. She had, in my opinion, nothing of value to offer, too many I don't remembers, when it came to crucial, uh, most important questions. Yes, but the questions when they said, did you, she was snap on when it was, did you have anything to do with this? Or what, do you, th did your mother do this? Yes, yes, she was right on with the answer. She didn't say, I don't know. She didn't do any of those unless it was, did you go downstairs? I don't know. If you would have not had your red uniform shirt on and you had a blue shirt on and surveillance photos, uh, video at the Dollar Tree, wouldn't that mean you went downstairs and changed your clothes? Yes, it would. But you don't remember going downstairs and changing your clothes. No. Don't recall. She was in the house for 17 minutes. She said her mother did not prevent her from going downstairs. What kind of teenager comes in from work and doesn't go down to her room? Flip off the work shirt, maybe even take a shower, change. That's my opinion and you can come up and tell me yours. Okay, great, you wanted to marry a doctor, but that, what is that telling us? I think she seemed a little calculated. Mm hmm She remembers where everyone was sitting in the car in one instance, but doesn't remember big events. Correct. Yep. Doesn't remember anything about that suitcase where her brother surely did. I mean, I don't mean to judge or anything, but it would be remarkable if she could grow up with her as a mother and be fine. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, okay. Me too, said Risa. You do not blame Harley in any way, but I am disappointed that she didn't come through for Gannon and his family. I just think she may be too far gone. I agree, said Risa. They made her go say goodnight to Gannon, which she never did before. Yep. Did she ever ask her mom why they were on the run? When they were on the run for... N not really. Oh, well, didn't... Well, th that was like... Well, didn't your mother tell you that people were following her before, right? All that stuff. Crazy stuff.
Poor kid, Gannon, that type of him in pain. Mm -hmm. I know, Crystal. I'm sure she's been on the run before. Yeah, seems like it. She was saying that she'd get in fights with Al and they'd take off. They went all the way to Kansas one time and then she turned around and went back. So, yeah. Well, I think it's sad that us ladies... No, we're not picking apart. No, we're not. Sorry, Angie. You're barking up the wrong tree there, sweetheart. Hi, Nikki. That's your opinion. That's okay. not at all what I'm doing. And I can speak for myself. You can't. Hi, Nikki. Hey, guys. Hi, y'all. Good. Oh, boy, do I have a difference of opinion tonight. Okay. I know. Maybe I'm on the opposite side. So I'm... I'm here to, to state my case and hear your thoughts. Um, okay. So here's my thought. I did not look at TikTok or her Instagram, right? And that's what the jury, the jury won't either. So I'm, I think I'm looking at this from a less biased stance, right? Mm -hmm. Because, right, I haven't looked at any of that stuff. And I'm kind of glad I didn't. Um, because I thought she was riveting. I thought, I mean, I know what you're saying earlier about, like, she didn't really express a lot of sadness or loss for Gannon. But she can only answer the questions that she's asked. And all the questions were about what was your experience with your mother? How did your mother act? You know, everything was about her and her mother. And really, nobody but what ever about, asked her. But what about the end with when this happened to me and my mother should have, my mother was going to do this. Yeah. She should have set me up financially. Yeah, I, I heard that. It, that it's that's, it, book, once right? she said it, that, it was done. I was done. Yeah. It's not the best look, but I think what she was saying is that 17, you would expect that, hey, if your mom did this, perhaps this horrible thing, right, then maybe she would have set aside something for you, right? Like, if your mother really, truly loved you, perhaps she would have said, hey, to the, the, to the friend that they were living with, you know what, if something happens to me, I saved up this bit, or here's my car, or whatever the heck, right? I think that's what she was saying. I don't think she was saying, like... Uh, set me up with some sort of trust fund. I think she was saying would have looked out for me. But better. she had her aunt looking out for her. Her aunt was yeah. helping her. Yeah, yeah, I heard that too. And then it, it, it I think her aunt the, bought her a the, car. This family, yeah, this family seems very transactional, though. Meaning, like, I will support you if you support. You know, because didn't they say that she withdrew her support um, because? Well, we, I, the I aunt will testify. They, you know, we don't know. We'll hear the aunt testify. Anything is hearsay, so we don't know. Um, but the aunt should be testifying, so we'll see. Yeah. But how Why? compassionate could she be to be like, she didn't take care of me monetarily, but yet she took the life of my brother. Like, there's no comparison, even. Like, that's yeah, I, very I, selfish. You know I, I'd like to look back at how that question was formed. Do you remember exactly what was asked? About that, yeah, I, I it was remember. about the go about the GoFundMe. Okay, so it was about the GoFundMe and how she was trying to raise money for. They, well, the, the uh, defense attorney said, yeah. "Look, you you lied. You were um, you manipulated stuff in this GoFundMe, didn't you?" Oh no, she said. Well, yes, you did. You said that you lost both of your parents in 2017. That's not the truth. Your father died before that, and your mother's not dead. Your mother was in jail awaiting a trial. And she's like, and she did, wouldn't, she, no, no. Yeah, I, I think there was, I, I think, you know, maybe she used the word lost my parents to mean like lost their support. I, I, no, it I was manipulative. And maybe it was. Maybe she wrote it in a way that maybe was. I think it was person. because. But you know what, Carolyn, I think if she wrote my mom's in prison or in jail, I don't know. Would people be as perhaps sympathetic? Maybe she was just really hurting for. And, and the girl's working, too, right? I mean, like, she's working. That's being a scammer, um, isn't it? Lying like that? You know what? That's a scammer. It's a scammer. What I, That's a I scammer. Saying that you've done everything on your own when you haven't? And I your aunt's been helping her, you? I think that, here's my point of view on that. I think if at age 20, if I were, if my, if this happened to me. And I, I think she talking. took that GoFundMe down. Today. That only knows what I would have wrote, right? Like, I just don't know at 20 what's... And she was quite naive. Like I was saying before, I think even if Gannon's... If, if, if she was 
if she saw the the uh, container or the sorry the suitcase or if she smelled something i don't think i think she was so i'm going to say naive but i'm going to say also controlled by her mother i think that she ruled with an but iron fist she fit. still had a okay no. a lot of times when but you're I, controlled I, I by your mother that, she had her own job right she worked at that massage and did by herself yeah, yeah. she had her own car right so yeah. she had her own car her own job and she was in the reserves yep yep okay so that doesn't sound like somebody that can't get an independent thought right. or any independent time or right. has their mother on them 24 7. yeah i guess i'm looking at how you know, like I said in chat before, like, she was too afraid to open the door for the pizza. She didn't know what to say here. And, like, I know that that was an unusual day, um, and her mother telling her not to open the door and that. But to me, I got the sense that what Letitia said is what was, right? Like, kind of like I could say the sky is green, and if, if I abuse my kids or rule them with an iron fist, my kids would say, yep, I'm not even Yeah, but can we, you could That's also thought, say, listen, the reason she was so scared about opening the door is because she felt her mother did something really yes. bad. Really bad. And, and you know what? Maybe mother. that was there. Maybe the, maybe below, maybe she, I, I don't know, you know. Would you fault her for that, though? I think she knows what the matter was. But that's not really that. That is not what I'm what I'm faulting her for. What you I'm faulting her for that. is that I don't believe she's telling the truth about not getting her clothes, never looking in that van, never seeing that suitcase, never smelling that smell. Um, you, you know that stuff. And you have yeah. to remember, in the middle of all her lying, a little boy was stabbed to death shot and like head smashed like a, an egg but at the same time you know she's 17 and at, at that point she's in a van going across country her mother's done this before how crazy is this is this just another scheme this is I, I think she's lived a turbulent life lived in alaska lived in charleston lived here and there yeah. i i you think could but is, you'd also have things like i don't think she's probably ever smelled a dead body and that smell is you know it's like but, nothing else so but where's Gannon but where's Gannon why are we leaving can't you patch things up what about Lena it seemed like she had you but know she's not gonna be the type to ask that don't I don't think I, I mean based on I mean because think about it like when she was asking her mother where she was and she kept saying oh well 10 minutes has gone by she didn't press her mother I would have been like mom where in the, you know, what are you? Like, come on. Like, I would have, you know, but I don't think she had, I'm going to say the courage to approach her mother. But when like Janine, her friend, was in the car, she asked, she didn't just grab, she asked Harley, can I see your phone? She texted um, Janine yeah. as if she was Harley and said, "May my, can my mother stay at your house with me? Um, she asked her to come pick her up. She wasn't, Janine didn't say that uh, she was, like, horrible to Haley. Uh, Har Harley, yeah, she's going to be on her best behavior, though, then, Harley. you know. It, I'll say this, too. A, a, an abusive parent is going to be, like, a mesh, like, a mesh, like, which, you know how, like, she was sending her, like, the text between her and Al, like, involving Why doesn't she talk and, about abuse of Gannon? If she's an abusive and, parent. Uh, yeah, it. I grew up in an abusive home, and I know, like, sometimes it was better just to not see what was going on is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? It was, sometimes it was like, I don't want to get myself in trouble, so I'm just going to just let, you know, my brother take this one. Like, honestly. So, I, that's why I have a little bit of, maybe a little heart there for her. That I think maybe, empathy. yeah, a little empathy there for her. Because maybe she just turned, maybe she just didn't want to, I don't know. I did, I just thought she was, I mean, I thought I was going to come on tonight and I thought everybody was going to be like, she was so truthful. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm the only, I'm the only numb nuts that thought she was super credible. So I, I'm she amazed. Her mother was accused of it and of hit and run in the past. And then she always concluded it wasn't her after all, didn't it? Um, something about a hit and run. Yeah, that there was something that she thought she w was involved in a hit and run, but then they said she wasn't. 
Yeah, I didn't know what that hit and run thing was about. So. And what is like with the them naming the dog after the father? That's weird. Yeah. That is really weird. And what about his side of the family? Does she even have anything to do with that side of the family? How old was she when he passed away? Do you know, Caroline? Well, it was, uh, they said that something about when, when you were 15 and your mother thought she saw your dead father. So it was even before that. Um, yeah, I thought she was quite little. I thought she was pretty young. Because she did say that her mother dated that Travis person. Uh, did she say when she was, I, I can't remember what she said, how young she was when that person. Well, she was 12 she when she married Al. So. I thought, yeah, I thought she was quite young when the, I don't even know if she really knew her father. Um, and I don't think she has any relationship with his family. I'm reading some comments here. Yeah. I'm still afraid of her. I don't. Yeah. What's the chances that the uh, body did not smell at that point? I mean, I, I, I'm not an expert on when the decomposition. I, I don't know. I, I, I can't imagine there wasn't. Like if they wrapped him, I mean, I, didn't say, I don't remember how much, how wrapped up he was. And then in the suitcase and in the back of the van and then like. They're driving through Texas. They're driving through Florida. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, is the back air conditioned too? Like, I don't know any of that sort of stuff, so I, I don't know. Um, there, there was seepage because of the luminol stuff, so I don't know how there wouldn't be. In, in the van, right? Is that what they yep. said? I missed some of the testimony a couple, like last week, so was that the van they found it in? Okay. Bodily, yeah, bodily fluids, absolutely. There is no chance that he did not smell. It starts right away, Linda Uribe said. Yeah, she I just didn't know ventilation-wise. Like, is the back of the van, can, is it like a minivan, or is it like a cargo van? Because it looked more like a cargo, cargo van. A cargo like the van. Back is separate. But it just you know, doesn't like, make sense. They're on the road. She says the reason she didn't go in the back and she needed her clothes, she would like her clothes, but there just wasn't time. They were just checking into the hotel. How is there yeah. no time to go up and yeah. take a shower and change your clothes? Those are the kind of things. Those were blatant lies, I'm, and that's where she lost all credibility you know, with me because she's lying about things she shouldn't be lying about. But why didn't they open the back of the van and get out of their clothes? But I think she did. I think she's lying. Well, I think we could probably look back at the video. And I, yes, I wish they would have, you know, video of that. And I hope that they do. And I hope that actually, they do they, bring actually it Actually, they do. They have her checking into the candle with the three times. Yeah. The, at least two times. So we could probably look and see, are they wearing the same, I imagine they're wearing the same outfits. Because I think they had video um, checking into the candle. Is the candle, whatever candle it was, the candle wood? wood? Uh, sweets? Yeah, yeah. Sweets. sweets or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't care if they were in a bus. You smell something. Have you guys ever heard anyone theory. say, I can't believe she did it? I can't believe she would do that. Like, she's not the type of person to do something like this. Right. I haven't. I haven't heard anyone say oh, that. Oh, I thought you said, I thought you said, have I ever heard anyone say that? No, about her. Oh, about Letitia? Yeah. I think Al oh. said that in the beginning, that he didn't think that she was capable. I think he said, like, you know, because I think he was questioned, like, did you feel concerned about leaving your children with her, right? And I think... Well, he, if he says yes, he looks like a total jerk. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had... I, there was just nobody else to leave him with, right? Like, yeah, yeah he's not going to say that. I'm checking into the say, hotel, I can't she did sneaking this. the dogs and another guest fraudulently. What other guest fraudulently, snow remover? 
Oh, she just said that she had she was checking in as one person without tests. Oh, so, oh, okay. Yeah, so like not not checking in with Harley, not checking but in Harley with dogs. But Harley walked right through there with dogs. Yeah. It doesn't even make any the sense. The front desk would be like, what's up? Like, what Nobody's looking. She felt weird the first night and slept upstairs with mom, but she's saying she had no idea till recently. That sounds like BS. Eight six seven five three oh nine says. French fry said, Oh she did, I must have missed it. Oh not five fourth. Gia Marie says, Yeah, they're not changing clothes is where she lost me as well. Mm-hmm. I don't know, it's just, uh... I mean, at 17, she would probably want to change clothes 10 times a day. Oh, yeah. Good. So, I, I can imagine her saying, Mom, can we just please get, you know, even if she pled her case, can I just get, you know, a pajama out so I could just wash my underwear? Or even if she said, the, my mother you know, said, I'll get it for you. What do you need? Right? Yeah, I, I mean... <sighs> She mother, it, listen, the mother, if the mother didn't want her back there right, and she said, said I want my clothes, clothes, she would have said, look, you take the dogs. I don't want you messing up stuff back there because I got everything packed. You tell me what you need. Right. I need True. my blue bag. Okay. And then you would get her blue bag for her. Right. So. Or they could have even ran into Walmart and bought a cheap pair of leggings and a, you know what I mean? Like if they just wanted. Right. A, a but why say you didn't get your clothes and you didn't yeah. go back there? Why not just say my mother went back there for me? My mother didn't want me to go back there. She said she packed everything the way she wanted it. Do you think there's a potential that she maybe had suspicion that her mother did it, but, but she just didn't want to press? One hundred percent. That's exactly it. what I think. Right. right. So she just said. You know what? I'm not going to ask for clothing. I'm not going to ask for sit down food. We're just going to drive. No, I think she did ask for clothing. I do. And her mother said we're not opening the, the back up. And she no, just said, okay. I think I think that she did. I think she did open it up. I think she did smell something. I think right. she saw things and just mm -hmm, you know looked the other way. I think she knew. Like the brother said, but the brother cried when he thought about it. When he remembered her with the suitcase. And what do you think the aunt said? Uh, Leticia, you got to get a van in your own name. You don't think the aunt suspected anything and didn't want her name on that van? Yeah, I didn't quite understand that part. Could you explain that? Did the aunt return yeah, the, uh, they, the yes, first van? Yeah, yes. That's, what, that's when they were changing. They, when the aunt came into town, she rented two vehicles. The Ultima, which Leticia used to pick up Gannon's body and bring it back to the hotel. And yeah. then she rented a cargo van. And then they went to the house and they loaded all of this stuff in the cargo van. And at some point, Letitia took that suitcase out of the Ultima and put it in that cargo van. And then the aunt said, Letitia, you have to get your own van. Okay? Yeah. And why would and she say that? that? Why would she say, that would she say it? Right. The only reason she would say that at that time is, hey, I don't want to be linked to your dead No child. way. Because but, I, yeah. she didn't even want to take the same van and change the yeah. name on it. She wanted an entirely new van, and that's why they were switching them. They think, were yeah. suspicious. And the brother, that's why he said, when I saw her with that suitcase, and I said, Letitia, do you need help with that? And she said, no. And I said, what's in there? And she said, softball equipment. Yeah. Um, I have one, one thing for you, Scooter, Sophie Long. Well, you know what, even, if, let, let's just pretend that she did come on the stand today and say, you know what, I, I suspected that my mom had something to do with it, but, you know, I, I just needed to, to, you know, keep the peace and, it, you know, I, or whatever. Right, and then, then I would have had, then I already respected that, just like with her brother. Yeah, but, but it wouldn't But she didn't. It, it, it wouldn't change anything, right, though, in terms of... Yeah, it would. It would yes, killed. it would. Yes, it think? would. It would change a lot of things because she would be credible 
to me, to many people, she would be credible if she said that. You know, if the you stuff she said, that she didn't go downstairs, she didn't change her clothes, and he's saying, look, and then, and then, okay, here's the other thing, okay? Remember what the, the defense attorney says? Remember you said your mother would sometimes be crying in a bowl, you yeah, know, on the yeah. floor, and no, don't remember. You don't remember that? Asked her multiple times, right? Then just yeah. as he's going to say, okay, well, um, here, you don't remember when we talked, we went out to dinner, let me get, oh, 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 okay. Yeah, she wasn't in a ball. She wasn't in that. Come on. That is so lame. Come on. That's like, that's like saying, do you remember, you know, when your husband said this to you and he, yeah. Oh, but he was wearing, yeah. a, oh, I'm sorry, I do. But he wasn't wearing a blue shirt. He was wearing a red exactly. shirt. Exactly, a red shirt, right, yeah. I Come mean, on. It, 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 it's almost like, but I will say, though, that she she was rehearsed. You could tell she was rehearsed. And you could tell, and, and well, that's I think she's a little actress, you know, good. on I mean, Instagram that's... and TikTok. So, yeah. She's I, all I about her appearances. Her. She's all about filming little skits. She films a skit where she goes, she has her friend over in the, the seat of the car. She reaches in the back for a pocketbook and wails her friend in the face, wails her again. Then she goes and gets a uh, sweatshirt, wails her in the face, and wails her in again. So she, she's, she's a little actress. She knows how to act. I think all I think all kids anymore do that. Sure, I can't I can't fight her. Sure, and but I they but then you that. really have to see if you believe them. You know what I mean? You've got to base it on a lot of other things. She knows how to act. She does a lot well, of little skits on um, TikTok. If you hadn't seen any of the TikTok though, or any of the other stuff, if you and I know this is really hard to do, if you erased yourself of all that, do you think you would have a different opinion of her nope. today? Nope. Totally not. No, I would still say she was a liar. Would I. Did you guys watch the Instagram stuff before the testimony or after or during? Or I looked at the TikTok after the testimony. Okay. So you kind of you kind you kind of smelled a rat and then kind of went and looked at her yep. TikTok. I saw her that. I saw her Instagram, but I didn't watch the videos. I okay. saw the Instagram, but I didn't see the TikTok until after. So you formed the opinion that you thought she was kind of like I was praying for the girl when she was coming I know, in. I know, I know you said I know you would be. Okay. I, mean, I, I thought I thought she was gonna do the right thing. I thought she was gonna be like Letitia's brother. She yeah. really shocked me. A few people on the panel a few people in the chat are saying they never saw the TikTok first or the Instagrams first. Yeah. I didn't see any of them, so I you know I kind of wanted to look at it like how the um, how the jury is gonna, you know, because they won't have any of that information. Um, but what I'm saying is, that, you, you know, the, the the DA, those guys, they rehearsed the witness, you know, so she knew, and, and I think they rehearsed her on probable things that the the, the, the uh, they were gonna cross her on, and I think that's true because she was not taken aback by the whole GoFundMe thing. She seemed to be prepared with those answers. So, uh, you know, it doesn't surprise me that she um, rebutted them on that. Well, she wasn't in a ball on the clo in the closet, right? Like, I, I think that. Yeah, but, they, but then acting like she had no them. idea. Like, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Oh, and then the other one that was so crazy. Has your mother ever referred to herself as Nicole? No. She never has? No. Are those text messages from you and her? Yeah. What's her name on there? Uh, Nicole. What the heck was that about? Yeah, I think it said something like, I can't forget how the iPhone words it. Yes, I have, listen to me. Have, listen, listen. I have an iPhone, okay? That's a I bunch, of, that's a bunch of problems. Let me just tell you. Let me just tell you how it works, all right? I have Danielle C. It says, yep. maybe Danielle. It doesn't say, maybe Nicole or maybe Lisa. It says, maybe Danielle. That means I haven't, like, verified that. But it knows that that's Danielle. It doesn't say, maybe Nicole. It would say, maybe Letitia, if that's what oh, okay. she registered her number as. It, it, I was going to say, it happens on mine, and I don't know why it happens. Yes, right? I, I never, never get, when they walk. tell me, maybe somebody, like, I used to have maybe Nicole for Nikki before I like verified it in there 
or maybe Sharon. They're just giving you the, uh, but that's what's registered on that number. So let's say she put in that Nicole name. Has your mother ever referred, like you would say, Nicole, it's just like, it's just not even making any sense. It's just so stupid. Stop lying. Oh yeah, I'm just reading here. It says here, um, for iPhone contacts, in this case, it means that your device has gathered enough information about that phone number that it believes it knows who it is who is calling you from it. Yeah, and it's never it might might have not been wrong. Not about like my my friends and stuff that are messaging me. It'll be like right. maybe Linda, maybe Nicole. Yeah. Not not maybe something else, a totally different name for the person. <clears throat> Yeah. So I guess she didn't have her mother's name. I guess she didn't have her mother programmed into her contacts then. And for some reason, no, that to... doesn't mean that. No, 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 no. It doesn't that doesn't that doesn't mean only that? Um, because I could have my son in my contacts, and sometimes it would come through as maybe Michael. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing that. But too. it's I'm still seeing, going to put your... their real name. Okay, not you know maybe Nicole when your name is Letitia. Yeah, and that and that. You know, if somebody says to you, if you're texting with your mother and it's your mother and it's coming as maybe Nicole and the, the attorney saying to you, have your mother ever go by the name Nicole? You know. Yeah, she probably could have done herself a favor and said, you know, in my iPhone, it shows up as maybe Nicole, but I've never heard her reference herself as Nicole. Uh, yeah, I mean. Oh, and well, then, know, did, then they said support. something else about, did your mother use your phone to message somebody or did you send that? I don't know. Oh, yeah. The, you uh, don't know if you the, sent the message to your mother? No, I don't know. Yeah, that was and the, was uh, I don't know. That was the, what he called the, um. I don't remember. Resigned from, um, the job. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't know. I will say it was three years ago, but I think I would remember if I resigned from my position or not. Like, I, I know. I know some stuff didn't look great, but I just don't know what benefit it would be for her to have not told the full truth. Do you I think, think that she would her image. Her image. Okay, image. let me ask you this. Like, remember how they were like, okay, well, we don't know if we're going to um, charge you as accessory, right? So perhaps yeah. when she went to that, she wanted to provide the most cleanest, I'm not freaking related to this at all testimony on the planet right but then she had to stick to it what if that was it i mean could you see that maybe as being no because she didn't she didn't stick with it because when the defense attorney said you said your mother was in a bowl crying she didn't okay, stick I with think it she was trying to protect her own reputation yeah you know, that's what i'm saying her, like her new doctor's yeah. family that she's going to be marrying into this family like she's protecting what? herself I, I think she was probably scared that she was going to get charge as accessory because they were holding that over her and i mean she did more to hurt her image today she doesn't yes. realize well, it I'm now saying, though, I'm she like doesn't she realize it now but she did more to hurt her image today than if she would have told the truth yes. but she would have to tell the truth that she told back in august because she signed that proffer so what i'm saying is that when she went into that proffer in august with the da and the fbi if she presented the cleanest most you yeah, know, but you can't story. tell the truth that you told in the truth should be the truth, whether you told it in August, know, March, or September. Um, yeah. If it's not, then it's not the truth. <laughs> I know. I know. But there's shades of the truth. I mean, you could shade things, right? I mean, we all have done it, you know, where, where you sort of, you know, make yourself out to be a little bit cleaner than maybe you are. Perhaps she did that and maybe she had to stick to it. I, Because I, I do think that she said, I don't know a lot. I do think it was odd that she didn't know who sent the text message who resigned from her job. But then uh, I'm also thinking this is a chaotic, crazy, like, three days that this is all happening in. Um, and she's 17, and, does she, you know, could she maybe have forgotten some of this something, details? Something very important happened in these three days. So Something extremely important happened. Yeah, I know people were saying, like, oh, it. I might not remember what I did it, you know, when I was 17. But right. your brother wasn't killed. That's well, a big difference. That the then right? you're like, going to remember what you were doing that day that, you know, it's so, yeah. 
I mean, yeah. look back on it, like, what could I have it's done? It's not just like a regular uh, Monday night. True. True. You know, like, what could I have done different? Oh, and then she lied about the car. Oh, no, I think she pulled in. You think she pulled that take one in? Yes. No, she backed it in. Well, we she know she backed it in. That Tiguan was backed into that garage. She lied yeah, about that. She forgot why what parking space the car was in. She I don't know why. She, she might not have any need to know if she backed it in or pulled it in. I mean, even if she didn't even go to the garage, how would she know? Then why wouldn't she just say, I don't know? She said she pulled know. it in. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I have no idea, but to me, that's like, a detail that could easily be like, well, I don't know. <laughs> that was one, maybe, the, I don't know, but it wasn't, I don't know. It says she pulled it in. Yeah. And then she said, what, she reversed herself and said, no, she backed it in? No. Oh, oh she, she kept saying that she pulled it in, but the truth is that she it was backed, backed it in. in. Is that right? It was okay. backed in there, yep. And, and we know that because of yeah. the ring and we all that. We know it because of the, uh, yeah, the cameras and the yeah. police reports, yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's stupid to lie about things that there's, you know, cameras and stuff that recorded that. You know, though, memory is not infallible. And that's the one thing that is really important to also remember is that, like, you know, after so many years, your memory does fade. And you she's could be 20, saying, oh, you know. Yeah, but it's, again, it's very significant days. It's not. You know, yeah. just going back, you know, in three days on a regular, you know, when nothing happened. Yeah, of course. But she can remember the sushi that they were supposed to go out for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she can remember what she wants. And the pizza. And all that stuff. And she's got her text messages to help her. What did your mother mean by this? What did your mother mean by that? Oh, and how about when... She uh, said to the mother, where are you? Are you here? And they said, well, wh where is that? And she was texting from the bed because her mother was gone. And the thing about the candle. There are very significant odd things were happening at those days. And then she, then, then she said her mother said she had burns on her hands, but she never saw them. Burns on her arms. She burned herself. Yeah. And that Gannon I mean, was out in the street yelling. Um, yeah, I hate um, my life. Yeah, I hate my life. I hate my life. I think Letitia was trying to make up some sort of story as to why Gannon may have been Oh, yeah, that yeah. Night, she right? had a lot of things she was going to do. I think she was going to try to do something on the hike. She was going to try to do something with the fire. She was going to try to do something with the oxycodone. Codone. Hydrocodone. Yeah, I think she had a, um, multiple, multiple tries. There. Yeah, was, and yeah, uh, we, I think maybe even that night when she made uh, Harley go down and say goodnight to Gannon, she might have drugged him with that hydrocodone and thought that he was going to not be alive the next morning, and then she would start a fire to cover it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. And go to work. But then she couldn't leave him alone because he wasn't 12 years old. That's right. Yeah, because she did message. She did look that up, right? Like how old yeah. a child has to be. Yeah. yeah. I think that's what she would have done. If she would have been able to leave him alone, she would have had him drugged up, and she would have started a fire, and she would have gone off to work. Yeah. Yeah, good. That's a... A good thought. I mean, to me, personally, like, if I, if my mother texted me and was like, oh, my God, our house was on fire in the basement, and I had to rescue the dogs, and I had to rescue my daughter, and your, your, your sister, and, you know, had to beat Gannon with a blanket or whatever the hell it was, like, I would come home and be like, where the hell is this fire? Like, right? Right. But again, I am basing this on my relationship with my mother, who, like, we could, like, you know, I could ask her anything and I wouldn't be afraid of, you know what I mean? But I just get this idea that this relationship with Harley was like, it was like, don't ask, don't tell. It was like, shut your mouth 
and you know get in the car we're driving to Amarillo we're going to we're at like if my mother took me in a car told me go pack all of your stuff we're leaving and drove me like to am I would be like mom where in the f are we going yeah I know that must, so would my right? daughter like, and if my daughter thought I had something to do with killing someone she would be the first one to be called the police and turn me in I, you know, I know I'm serious she's, I, she's not going to lie I'm, and 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 wreck her life uh right. being an accomplice to something right but that's why I'm thinking, like, why, you know, why didn't... And she's going to care I, about I, her brother, you know, if I, you know, this is, like, crazy. She's not just going to ignore it. Yeah. I... I, I just think Harley was the, is that type of... All this. I think I she was easy to... I think she was just easy to, just just easy to pull the wool over She on. wants to play insane. Though we know she's stupid to me, though. Yeah, and she possibly could have uh, got some kind of a deal if she would just, uh, you know, confess to what really happened. But she wants to go with this insanity defense. She's going away for life either way, Letitia. You know, it's... Yeah, and going to a a, a, a mental hospital is worse than a prison. I mean, so if she thinks she's going to get a, a a great ride going to yeah, a She's mental probably hospital. thinking she's going to be in this really cushy, padded room. <laughs> Not and she'll all. just sit there, you know, and they'll bring her some meds on a tray. Talk about you right. your bed. And she'll have a TV in there and she'll just, you know. No, it's scary. We had friends that worked Either at Clark, which was a, a, it's a lose -lose. federal it's hospital. A lose -lose. Go ahead, Del. Sorry. It's a lose-lose. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, really. Yeah, it's, it's prison or... This I don't know. Just uh, I was. I, I don't know who's gonna. I wonder who will testify tomorrow. Um, maybe the aunt. Maybe. Were you uh, surprised though that Letitia didn't seem at all phased by her daughter? She was okay. Let me tell you. When she got admonished by the judge, she she was she was under. Did you see her hands under the table? No. She was going nuts with her hands under the table, and before they called Harley, she was ready to have a fit and she kept just going like this and then sometimes the finger would come out like real fast and i would say oh, yeah. oh gosh it was real fast she did it and i but one time she sat there like this so who did she give the middle finger she's, to and i thought oh my gosh she's blatantly doing that in front of the judge and then today her, yeah today and then yeah. Harley came oh, in. Oh, I thought that was Friday. I'm no, sorry. no, she yes, it was, but she started to do it again today. Oh, like she did that on one. I saw her one time. She was like this. It was right there. Oh, and I and it was right at goodness. the judge. And I thought, wow, you are one brazen girl. And then Harley came in, and that's when she paid attention. She wasn't doing crazy hand stuff. She was watching. Okay, she was really watching and attentive, and she cooled it with the hand stuff. As she started up a little bit uh, towards the end, she wasn't even rising for the uh, jury. The jury, no, she was getting defiant, and her attorney didn't rise at the one time for the jury. The other attorney, I couldn't believe that. Wow. She also um, gave devil horns when the jury came in one day. No, I just can't imagine her not even becoming somewhat emotional or shedding a little bit of a like nothing like i for letitia like no yeah even when she even when she left the and there was something at the end harley was turned to someone and like saying something i don't know if she was talking to her mother because you can't get a good idea like the way the cameras are and the cameras are terrible in that courtroom they need more light yeah. on the witness and they yeah. need to get in closer that's ridiculous and then they don't even get close to the text and they don't release it this is insanity that they don't release it after it's been you know entered into evidence mm -hmm. i couldn't believe they heard her sitting in the appropriate spot finally yeah the well that's so the judge can watch her yeah 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 at least she wasn't sitting over in that like corner where she right i was like what is that i didn't even I know, know. Her, Al. Like the first day I saw it, I'm like, is that Letitia over there, or is Me that like too. some DA, or is that like some defense person like that's helping? And I'm like, oh my oh. god, it is her. 
Like, what I is she doing? She wasn't even close to her attorneys. I was like, is it a COVID protocol? But then everybody no. else was sitting close. No, and they like, said they're going to get rid of that table or something that, so that nobody even I goes know. there. Yeah. And they got rid of the other juror and... Um, oh, they got rid of her? Yeah. What happened with that? I didn't hear that part. Well, she knew the um, the expert that was testifying oh, about uh, yeah. the firearms yeah. and stuff. Uh -huh. So the defense Small didn't want her there. Yeah, I, I really hope they release the police interview and stuff to see it like regular because they also have like a soft focus on their camera it's not a crisp yeah, very fuzzy right very like, fuzzy it's not crisp at all me. no it's not crisp at all yeah i even watched it on my laptop today because i was like the other day when they were showing letitia's was it letitia's interview yeah the police station? i couldn't even watch it because i couldn't understand a word that was being like it's ridiculous i don't, I don't know why they're doing it like this i don't understand that yeah it was know, like it's so weird kind of, Very strange. The way they have the witnesses, it's like so dark, you can't see them, and they're, um... No. It's terrible. At least we have video. Yeah. And also. <laughs> oh my yeah, God. I know, I know. It's just, oh my gosh, it's just mess. crazy. Yeah. Let's see. Julie W., she may have blocked the thought. The That's person. what I'm thinking, Julie. I'm thinking of psychological blocking. I think she's... I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt. Like the this day and age, I don't think I'm going to She was great. Yeah, I could put a bolt under that table and have your arms your, uh, cuffed and attached to it. Your hands, yeah. I wonder how right. she'll act tomorrow, you know. The same. I was in the jury with all that has been presented so far. I would find her guilty. Yeah, it is. It's a no-brainer that she's gu guilty, and it's not by reason of insanity at all. No. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand. I really don't understand why this trial is going to go as long as they say it's going to go. I don't. I it, gonna... It's oh, it's it's enough now. I mean, they have enough now. I really. I was going to ask you that. I'm like, what is going to take six weeks? Or did they say six weeks for this one? Or yeah, four? they say even said six to eight weeks. I'm like, what is going to take that long? Like, uh, hello? Like, crazy. Nobody else killed this boy. Right. Like, nobody. And she's not insane. insane. They're going to have their expert come on and try to say she has, you know, multiple personalities. And she's in. So is that why they keep asking, like, does she mm -hmm. speak in a Yeah, does she use the name Maria Sanchez? Does she use the name, this name? Does she ever go by this name? Does she ever speak in Spanish? Does she ever speak in a Spanish <laughs> accent? So um, is the idea then that when she was that when she got a, uh, when she was being interviewed by the mental health people that she was acting is that what you're thinking that she was acting like she was all these different personalities and switching between them? These no, I'm. I don't know what they're thinking because. Because I, I mean, they keep asking. I mean, like, you, we know she thing. impersonated Harley to get some stuff back, right? Yeah, that she's yep. Harley. Um, but then she says she's a flight attendant and, you know, I mean, she's just, well, and then there's that, uh, fake she polygraph. Did, she claimed she and, was a PhD. She, she claimed she had her PhD in education. Right. But she's giving, she's, you know, she's giving it all up because she'd go be a flight attendant. <laughs> yeah. And I, and I, and I also doctorate. think that was all a lie when she said, and this is going to come up because I went out there the night. I don't believe she went out to wherever she said. I think that was something right. she told Al. Oh, you don't believe me? I got a flight attendant. I got to go out for a training, and then said she came back because she couldn't leave Harley alone. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, yeah, Kim Kardashian. I don't know. Yeah, it's just. Uh, it's yeah, I don't know what they're going to do for the next four weeks. Though to me, it feels like good lord. Like yeah, I, it's too much. I don't know. I mean, I know they've got. Let me see if I can pull up that witness list they've got. I think the jury would convict her already if they gave. I do too. Yeah, yeah. I'm one hundred percent. They should be like the jury. You have enough? Okay, good. All right. Right. <laughs> Ready? Do we need it's to go with like the rest Murdoch. of the witnesses, or are you all good? We're all good. Okay. The Murdoch. Case. The Mur the Murdoch they were like, 
even when they interviewed the Murdoch jurors, they were like, yeah, we pretty much decided it. Like, I'm like, right, you know. yeah. And we had to sit through all that financial <laughs> crap, and they're like, oh my god, like we're we're already there. We don't need all, yeah. It's a little overblown. I don't know who the Murdoch jury thinks they're kidding. They walked in there and they were like, guilty, guilty, <laughs> yeah. done. Well, they have their they have Roderick, the the neighbor that had the surveillance. I'm sure he's on the list. And then um, let's see. Pulled that list. Oh, and then here's um, I have to get an attorney fast. Those are text messages between Letitia and her daughter that were shown in court. Her testimony, let's see. Hunt said. Stout told her she was being set up and needed an attorney for that purpose. Hunt testified that specific feeling was a constant theme with her mother dating back to the time she spent in Myrtle Beach after allegedly disposing of Gannon's body under a Florida bridge. Even as Letitia and Harley drove across the country to Florida after Gannon's disappearance, she denied any involvement in disposing of his body under the bridge. Instead, she testified that Letitia attempted to control her behavior after her step brother went missing. Uh, she said that Letitia would tell her not to speak with detectives, not to open the door to law enforcement when they attempted to ask her questions, and even going as far as slapping her with the back of her hand if she asked too many questions. She didn't, uh, you know, even help out. Lena went for the interview. She wouldn't even give them an interview. Um, Carolyn, did they ask her about her relationship with Gannon? Yeah, they did. And she said, I mean, you know, he was that. a nice kid and, um, you know, there was an age difference, but he was nice. He was nice. I remember she just kept saying, like, where do you want to live? And I was, like, confused. Originally, it was going to be Texas and Florida and then Myrtle Beach. It just kept changing. And then here's another thing she said about that GoFundMe. Beyond all that, I forgot about this one. She said, you wake up and your whole life changed. I lost my stepdad. You know, I lost my mom and my brother. I lost everybody. She lost everybody. Right. She lost everybody. Right. Landon lost her son. Okay. <clears throat> Al lost his son. You know, yeah, it's like, no. it's but about he's like, her. Yeah, I mean, she's not She's very young. She's going to be, I think she's going to be self, you know. She's not really I'm very young. I, I, I mean, I had uh, a child at her age. Okay. No, I, I mean. I, an 11 year old boy lost his life. life. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't buy that crap. I really don't. She was very young. That's what Letitia said. Oh, she's a child. Right. She's a child. Right. But exactly. But that's what she's been, but that's how she's been raised. You're, you're but she hasn't. She was child. holding down a job. She had her own I vehicle, don't, right? I, I, I don't agree with that. I think she though, was I think in the reserves, was, going into the air force, right? right? I think the reason she had a job was because Letitia wanted her to have one. Trust me, I don't think she would have done anything had Letitia not said it was okay or authorized it. She was my doing it. But she still I was out she she, the of the mother's, she was still out on her own. She had her own vehicle. She had her own job. She was in the reserves. Yeah, I just don't know. No, I mean, I just got the feeling that, that her mom is very, I mean, she runs, I think she, she rules with a tight fist. I, I do think that. I, I, and that's why I think why Gannon's dead. I get it, Nikki, but I, I mean, we're still talking about the life of an 11 year old boy. Everything about her mother's been been thrown out the window. She should have just thought for herself at that point. She should have went out. It was time to cut the apron strings when that happened. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I mean, that was a totally different, that was an animal of a totally different color. 
whatever you say. <laughs> Unless she, uh, or you could look at it like it made her more fearful of her mother. You could kind of, you know. She was a lot bigger and a lot stronger than she that. She had, Lena was going down to the police. If she was scared of Letitia and she really thought Letitia had something, she could have told the investigators. Okay? They would have got her a victim's witness advocate. It would have helped her if she was really scared of Letitia. But at 17, what? does she know that? What? Does she know that at 17? Does she does know she that know? at 17? If she told does them, she I'm know, scared. Does she to... know, like, okay, I can go and talk to the, the, the police and they'll protect me, they'll help me? Like, because you're asking her to double cross the only living. But, her, but no, her, her grandmother was there, her aunt was there, her uncle was there. Right, but she knows I... that if she crosses her mother, she loses them too. I, I no, I don't believe that. I don't mm. believe that. I don't Neither believe do her aunt was taking callous. care of her. She doesn't seem like a shrinking violet to me. Oh, I think so. No. That baby. Oh, well, well, I, I, I we, we are on the opposite end today, girl. That baby we're doesn't. We're that baby voice. That baby voice doesn't fool me. That was see, I and I think it, the whole thing of her arriving late for court and stuff like that. I think that was all an act. I'm sorry, knowing what I know, I think it was all an act. She was going to say she was probably outside trying to get a, you know, saying, I can't get a hold of myself. And then when she was coming in going. <sighs> Think about it. So that's the first time she saw her mom in three years. What a hell of a time to see her. She walked, she, that's she that's walked right out of there without any, without any huffing and puffing. I, you I, could have taken the last question when they asked her, do you love your mother or do you, do you still love your mother? And she met it with silence and tears. Do you think she could have faked that? Yeah, I think she faked a lot of things. No, I don't know. If, I don't know if she does love because that's I think she didn't want to too. say she loved her mother because then people would think she lied for her. So I think she was. She didn't want to say that. I think she wanted to, me, to distance like herself from her mother as much as she face. possibly could. Flicked it. I don't know what I feel. That's kind of how I read it but i think everything about that was was completely calculated everything she did you know you would see her like all on the verge of something until well when they got that gofundme her voice got a little bit she she lost that it, it changed quickly and yes. um yeah. i think everything there just that you know, I, I don't know. I just, I she was disingenuous to me. I, I, I think being cross-examined, though, is tough because you're up there, you know, for seven, five, what was it, six hours today, right? And like both attorneys oh, were very nice to her. Even the defense attorney, you know, you've said, well, you know, you said this to me about your mother in the ball. And, you know, I think what he said, you you were in uh, you manipulated that GoFundMe. He's he still he I mean he wasn't uh he didn't he didn't keep going at it when he could have, okay? Yeah, I was wondering what do you think that the attorneys were saying to each other there? Do you think that the one do you remember the one attorney grabbed the microphone and moved it away? They were looking something up. Uh, they were saying like, oh I think the last thing was like they had oh, a delicate they had a delicate issue that they had to talk to him about, the judge. There was a so, delicate issue they had to talk to him about oh. and I don't know what, you know, what yeah. the, that was Because they closed about. their cross right then and there, like on that whole thing where she said, well, I only raised $800 or it was, they asked her, how much did you raise? And she said 800 And then the one guy grabbed his phone and was looking something up. The one attorney. Yeah, but it was still going. And it, you have to realize it was made this January. Yeah, this is well described. And, and she's, you know, raising for... this money and this GoFundMe and she's spending, what, a week in Grenada? Yeah, I don't know about the Grenada thing. I guess that's on the TikTok, right? The or, Instagram. Yeah. Okay, Lisa, Lisa L says her TikTok, TikTok voice shows a bit confidence. So her TikTok what? Knowing how she gets things. Her TikTok voice shows a girl with confidence. She yes, and, and it switches. When she's talking right. about a Starbucks drink, she gets loud. And she gets, you know, yeah. like, like woohoo. Like, she's all over the place with that. She's not... Yes. It, it was so hard to you, listen to you, her. It sounded so strained. I if, just, you're doing, if, if you're doing a TikTok video, though, it's different than sitting on a witness stand. I I think we all have different voices, right? I mean, no, perhaps. 
I know. I'm just trying my best here. It's because strained. It sounded so strained. Like it was so difficult for her to talk. And I just kept thinking like, oh my gosh, it was uncomfortable to listen to her. Like, it, it was, was like listening to two she different was people. straining. That's how different it was. But we she was channeling like LaToya Jackson. <laughs> That's what I really felt. I felt she was trying to channel LaToya Jackson. But LaToya Jackson's voice is natural. That's how she always speaks. Right. But. I mean, I've seen people on the witness stand that talk the same way they talk. I mean, you can tell they're nervous, but they have the same, like, basic voice that they have in real life. I mean, they have when they're not on the stand, you know. She went to Grenada because that's where her fiancé is going to veterinarian school. And I believe she spent about a month there with him. That's why I'm saying, how is that driving with nursing school? I'm saying I don't know if nursing school is still going on. And that would be another thing she was not truthful about. I mean, I went to nursing school. It was very vigorous schedule. Right, and you normally just can't just take, oh, I'm going to see you guys in a month. I'm going to Grenada. See ya. Yeah. Maybe she was doing some online stuff, too. You know, it's a little different now. I yeah. really don't know. Or was she on break? <laughs> oh, how the school schedules run these days. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. I went just on her Instagram. I did. Same voice. That might just crack, but it stays the same. So, really, yeah. I don't know, just uh, very disappointed. I really thought she was going to come through for Gannon, and I did. Oh, I really yeah. did. i uh, very disappointed. I kind of expect, expected something to be wrong with her, having her for a mother. I was going to say, it's apple that fall far from the tree, right? right. I mean, yeah. If, if you do I, think I kind of it's funny, you know. Yeah, Bucky it's hard. says I mean, she at first sounded like she was going to cry, but after so many hours, and then she did cry for a bit, but then she stopped crying. She still sounded the same way. Yeah, so it was being put on. Yeah, I believe it was being put on, too. Yeah, I, was, I think she was gone for like a month, Sandy. Sanders, yeah, you don't usually get a month. Um, yeah, yeah, I just wanted her to get off, lately, say, because there was no point of it. Just get somebody else on there because it's enough. She was done once, and especially once she said that GoFundMe thing. I just go get down, go on, go on now. Did you know that yeah. before? <laughs> get out of here! What did I know? What that she had did a GoFundMe? You know about the GoFundMe? Yes, thing? I did, and right. I thought that was very strange that she said she lost both of her parents that in 2017. But I gave her the benefit of the doubt. I said, "Well, you know, with the benefit of the doubt, she's going to come on. She's going to do the right thing by Gannon, and yeah." didn't do it. I didn't think they gave her any questions though about Cannon. Oh. Beyond how truthful You're welcome to call in, Sarah Lee. If you'd like to call in, you're welcome to call in. Yet have it say, remember, Harley has learned from her mother on a lot of things. The book bag? Which is true. Mm -hmm. She's been around lying her life. Yeah. You know, and that can be a learned behavior. So. Right. When did Al say that he kind of suspected she did something? When, he saw, when he saw the car, when yeah. he saw that the car was not at the school, like she said. Right. So That, that was another thing she lied about. Your mother rented a car. Um, 
Then she said something about the keys. Did you ask your mother about this? Did you ask your mother? You know, and it's like, no, 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 no. I didn't know this. Oh, I didn't know what color it was. I didn't know she had a rental car. I don't know what's... There's so much stuff she didn't know. Yeah, the husband knew something was up. He knew her through and through. I think he knew pretty early on, too. She was I think a disappointment. That that's when he first I do think something, right? when she her brother did a, a big, better job. Like, yeah, and I hope that re the rest of the family members do a, do a better job. I think Al was already having relationship issues with the line. Yes, so many lies. All of the I don't remember. So yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember. Well, and they definitely had a rocky relationship because they had argued. Remember, she asked, did they argue a lot? And she said yes. And then, um, you know, we learned that they had left several, at least one other time, right, that she referenced going to Kansas or Kansas City. Mm -hmm. you know? So they had this rocky relationship, her and, her, her and Al, right? Like, things were not coming up roses there. No, not at all. I, I think she accused him or thought he was cheating on her and all of that stuff. Yep. And she has because I think both already had relationship issues with the lying. Mm -hmm. I don't think it has to be just one thing or instance. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's... um. Yep. I think that she probably fine-tuned this to make herself come out a little bit better. I don't think he was, I don't, I don't think anybody tells the absolute truth ever on the witness stand, right? I think, I, I, my personal opinion, I think everybody shades it a little bit to make them look less culpable and to make the other person look a little bit more culpable. I just think that that's what happened with this personally mm -hmm. but I didn't think she was a complete Oops. mess I think she straight up lied <laughs> <laughs> oh you're you're just like liar so Elle, do you think she had anything to do with the murder or do you just think that she just no right. no but I think she knew think real early on right so she's not she, 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 she no was I don't think she had anything to do no, I don't think she had anything to do with it at all. But I think she what, knows her mother very well, like in such yeah, think that she knew her mother was up to something, and realized pretty early on what it was. But do you think that at some point in time, when she's driving through somewhere in Texas, she knows that Gannon is dead in a suitcase in the back? I think she knew before that. You do. Yes. Interesting. Yeah, I think. Well, where we was nowhere to be found. There's all this stuff about the cleaning up and the candle and saying all these weird things about what Gannon was doing. I just think a uh, lot of weird stuff going on. I don't know, just not normal. Just not normal. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just looking up something in one of her texts or something. Uh, I'm thinking it's not normal stuff for a normal day. And she and she probably knew her mother, was used to her doing crazy kinds of things. Used to her always being in trouble. For, I'm sure her mother made trouble in her way, left trouble in her way wherever she went. Okay, hold on one second. I agree. I don't disagree with that. I think that she was a drama queen from right. the get-go. Yeah, this just right. didn't happen yesterday. And she had to know her mother was totally unempathetic. I mean, it takes a totally unempathetic person to do something like this. Okay, so her father died October 2nd, 2014. Oh, wow. And uh, let's see. Lumberton, North Carolina. So that's less than 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. 
So she would have been about 10. Said uh, a description of the incident leading to death. Chance MacArthur Hunt, age 34, 96, blah, 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 was found deceased Thursday, October 2nd, 2014 at 7 a.m. The coroner's office was notified of the death at 5.42 a.m. by dispatch of the Butler County Sheriff. The story given to the Butler County Coroner's Office at the scene was the decedent had been in the area working at G.E. Evandale, Ohio, doing drywall along with others from his employer in North Carolina. The decedent was reportedly last seen, I remember reading this a long time ago, 2,300 hours the previous evening by his roommate. The roommate stated that the decedent and he were sitting around the room drinking beer most of the evening. Around 2,200 hours, the decedent went into the bathroom. Around 2,300 hours, the roommate went to check on him and found him slumped over between the bathtub and the toilet snoring. The roommate went to bed. At 5 the next morning, the roommate awoke and discovered that the decedent, still in the bathroom, was not breathing. 911 was called. The decedent was transferred to the Butler County Morgue. On October 2nd, 2014, an inspection was done by Dr. Joseph Brandeber, Deputy Coroner. Also present was Coroner's Investigator Andrew Wills. Quantitative toxicology testing revealed prazolone, THC, fentanyl, and hydrocodone. The decedent was released to the funeral home in Limerton. Okay, so... about this um is there a picture of this uh Oh, I think this is him. I, I remember this. Uh, yes. Okay, so here's his obituary. It's public. Um, let's see. Mr. Chance MacArthur Hunt departed this life October 2nd, 2014 in Cincinnati, Ohio. He was born August 1st, 1980 in Baltimore. He lived in 98 Chilo Road. The funeral will be held 3 p.m. Thursday. He was the son of the late Tammy Lamb Chavis and Claude Mac Hunt. He was preceded in death by his grandmother and grandfather, his great-grandfather. Okay, he departed leaving behind to cherish his memory. His daughter, Harley Hunt of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. His biological father, Ricky Emanuel of Baltimore, his dad, Bill Holmes, and wife, Renee Holmes, and their son, Garrett, his stepfather, Ricky Chavis of Shannon, and his brother and sister, Nikki Chavis of Shannon, and Ricky Chavis Jr. of Lumberton. He was a gentle and kind-hearted man. His presence will be deeply missed by his great-grandmother, Genova Holmes. Genova baked an apple pie. Wow. He was the apple, uh, yeah, he was the apple of her eye. His grandfather, Warren Morgan Chance, uncle and aunts, Winston and Arlene Lowry, aunts, Jane Lamb, Aunt Ke so that there are Lowry's that are on the list, and, and there's Locklear's on the list. So, yeah, that's interesting. 
Uncle, that's interesting what these people think of Letitia, right? If people in Chance's family... That'll be, it'll be interesting to hear. That'll definitely. be interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uncle and Aunt Winston and Arlene Lowry aunts, Jan Lamb and Karen and Ronnie Locklear of Lumberton, Jamie Lamb and Paul Locklear of Pembroke, Uncle Horace Mitchell II and Teresa Oxidine of Panama City Beach, Florida, aunt and Uncle Gwen and... Okay, lots of aunts and uncles. Wow. All right. So he was uh, 34, right? Hmm. All right. And she would have been, when was she born? She's 20, going to be 21 in May. So she was born in 2000 and she was, wait, would that make her two years old? No. Not, am I right or wrong? I need to. I, I keep thinking this is my pen. It's not my pen. Hang on. She How old is Lena currently? Uh, 11. Hold on. Is she, if it, is, she's not on the list, right? Of um... Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. oh, interesting. I thought, I wondered if they might interview her. 2012? Or put her on. No. No, she was. What am I saying? She couldn't have been born in 2012. I'm really losing my mind. No. Uh, my kids are way young. She was born in 2002. Yeah, she's 20 today. So 10 years ago is when her father died. So she would have been 10. Well, she, around, she'll right? be 21 next month. Okay, so she was around 10, 11, then I guess when. Yeah, 2002. Yeah. I don't know why I'm thinking 2012. I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> math. <laughs> I'm pretty good at math. That's why I think I'm losing my mind. <laughs> um, yeah, and plus my own kids. I know when my own kids are born and they're younger than hers, they were, yeah, she wouldn't have been born in 2012 for sure. Um, but, yeah, so she was born in 2002. So she she would have been 12. Had, yeah. I mean, she could have had a relationship with, the, with mm -hmm. her father that she would have remembered. Yeah. But. I didn't get that sense, but and it'll no. be interesting to see if those are the family members that are going to be testifying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See, this was, <coughs> yeah, see, here's a picture of her from today. Wow. Okay, let me see here. Carol, was Jorian in when she was doing that? Um, yeah, I believe so. Uh, she was really. Yeah. Wow. Poets. Hi, poets of my heart. How are you doing? Wow. No, Chance is not Landon's brother. Sorry. It's not. Did you just hear the obituary? Okay, there's his obituary that I just read to you.
was the brother of Landon. And then their cousins. Okay, well, okay, let's look at this, okay, again. Here you go. Here's the obituary, Lurker. He left behind a daughter, his biological father, his dad, their son, Ricky Chavis of Shannon and his brother and sister, Nikki Chavis of Shannon and Ricky Chavis Jr. of Lumberton. Okay. That's the immediate family. Then they come down here to the grandmother, Genova, his grandfather, uncle and aunt. We went through the Lowry. His brother would have been mentioned, uh, his sister would have been mentioned, okay, if it was Landon Hyatt. Do you see Landon Hyatt here? Then you say they require, you know, Nicole. There is, uh, who's your favorite cousin? So there's a Nicole Lamb, Chastity Travis, Ricky Desmond, Peyton Jeff, Jonah, Dino, Juliana, Zaza, Nicholas, Tola, Landon, Christina, Latasha, Tanya, Dr. Katera Chavez, Jennifer, Shwana, their reply would be Chance, his best friend and brother, John Hunt of Pembroke. Okay, so somebody sees the Landon here, right? First of all, that wouldn't be his sister. If it was anything, it's a cousin. But Landon, I mean, there's other people named Landon. And if it was his cousin, what does it really have to do with anything? Okay, because Landon and Tisha were friends. So could it be? Yeah. Does it really have a lot to do with anything? No, it really doesn't. Um, it's an interesting fact, maybe, just like how Tisha and Landon were friends. And then, yeah, but, you know, it doesn't really make... Uh, I don't know what well, you're in here like yeah. asking this. So they're definitely not sister and brother. And um, there's, a, there's a Landon listed in there with a bunch of cousins. But Landon is not like, you know, it's a, it's a common name. My kids have friends named Landon. It's not an unusual name. Hi, Gretchen Blue. Can I ask a quick question of you guys? I, I just want to make sure I understand this. So her pleading um, not guilty for reasons of insanity, right? Does that imply that she is indicating that she did do the yes. murder? Yes. Mm -hmm. It implies that, right? But she said, I can't be held accountable for it because I lacked sanity at the time that the murder occurred. But she's admitting she did it. Right. Okay. I just want to make sure I understand. I, I, I was pretty sure that that's, you know, I could read between the lines on that. So... At first, she said she didn't do it, right, Catherine? No, she yes. she but pled not guilty, not guilty by reason of insanity. So, but she's not guilty by reason of insanity. So she was insane, okay. and that's why she's not guilty of this. But it's also implying that she did this. Okay, you understand? Right, she but she she's not guilty think. of it. Like, like, like I'm not accountable for it because I was because insane. Um, you know, I, I was absolutely insane. It wasn't me at the time. And there's something mentally wrong with me. I'm insane. And you go but to a mental institution for the rest of your life. You don't get off. You don't get, you know, they don't, oh, okay, you're, you're, you're good. Okay. 
Yeah, I just want to make sure that I was reading that right. Like, it implies the fact... Right, that she did it, but she was insane at the time she did it. She... Right, so she's basically saying the reason I can't be held accountable... Because I was because insane. I... I'm right. insane. But but even if she's found not guilty by reason of insanity, that doesn't mean that she goes scot-free. It means that she Not at all. She goes to, 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 for right, life. That's... She's gone right. for life in a mental institution, yeah. I really don't see what six weeks. What we need all this more time. I mean, why can't they just put the experts on that? That's what her attorneys were saying. They're saying life is life. She's going to get life. Right, like, right. It, it's so just going to be life in prison or life in, in a mental ward. Yeah. And neither is, and neither is a good choice. So, you know, um, so who cares? So why, why don't we just cut to the chase and figure out was she crazy or not? Right. You know? and, and she's not going to get it because... Yeah, if you ever watch the Tim Jones trial, uh, and they they brought in his family and his mother with schizophrenia, yeah. and you know <laughs> the likelihood that he would have this, and all these people and everybody testifying for him, and he was crazy like a lunatic, drove around with his kids, all five of them in his van, and oh my gosh, this smell, and just was driving around like that, all with of this stuff, kid, and right? he did not yeah. get it, and you know, and he got, uh, he was convicted and given the death penalty. Yeah, I don't think anyone this jury is going to find her insane. They're not going to find her insane. Like no. I mean, not deliberately, it's not deliberately giving the finger, deliberately sitting with her back. It's to just them. what I'm She's saying. It's just acting. such a waste. I think the jury right now would be like, we've got enough. Exactly. Prison. <laughs> They're well, going to have that doctor painful. come on and say she has all this stuff. And then they have to counter it with another expert, the prosecution. It's just, yeah. But to me, it's almost like pointless because... <sighs> Usually what they'll say is, you know, you can't use insanity when you show that you have knowledge of guilt, guilt knowledge, which is packing up the child in a suitcase. I mean, that's guilt knowledge right there. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, Moving the body, insane, moving the body from another right, place. Yeah. Why? Because you, you don't want to be caught, so you moved right. it. Yes. Yeah. You would have yeah. left the child right Why'd there. Why'd you tell your brother it was softball equipment? You lied. Um, yeah. yeah, all of that. Yeah. yeah. It's guilt knowledge. And when to show guilt knowledge is to show... That mm -hmm. you, the ability, to, you know, that you know that what you did is wrong, and that you are now needing to cover it up. So uh, I don't see what we're spending all the time. But yes, send her away. Yeah. I'm sick of seeing her. She wants to live a life on meds in a safe institution. Nothing insane yeah. about her. Just evil, right? Free Willie. I I agree. Yeah. I agree. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, everyone seems to think the Constitution is weak. And then we'll see what tomorrow There is no not guilty at all. So it's just, at this point, we're just waiting to find out is she going to go to jail or prison or if she's going to go to a mental facility. That's about Right, it. yeah. Yippee. But is a mental facility really punishment? Oh, it's really terrible. Actually, I've heard it. I mean, based on my, um, I, my parents had friends that worked at, at a federal uh, 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 mental health hospital. Really? And, uh, yeah. And this was back in the 70s and the 80s. And they said. The criminally that, insane. Yeah. Yeah. Criminally, it yeah it's it's different now than someone. Yeah. It was scary. They said that, you know, some, really? of, the, some of the people there are truly insane. Like, not oh, yeah. Letitia insane, but. Absolutely. Yeah, and if they've killed, like, in, you don't know, yeah, like, somebody right. like could they, kill you, yeah. They're, they're more dangerous people in a mental facility than in a prison because these people are on high, on high meds, right? And, right. I, you know, I don't know legally if they have to let them out into some sort of recreation or, I, I don't know. And, again, this could have changed since the 70s and 80s, but what, what my parents' this friend said was that they would rather... Anybody would rather go to a regular prison, a regular state prison, even the worst state prison. Well, and she would still be in a protective, um, protective ward, custody. like like a Chris Watts, because of her crime and how well Although known it is, and that she killed Gannon, and it was so highly, you know, publicized and so much media about it. She would guess she would. But why would she try? Why would she try to plead insanity then? I think for her. I think mentioned? because I think. For her own self, you know, that she's not inherently evil. 
Maybe she thinks that sounds better, that she was insane, yeah. that yeah. she was driven insane, okay. you know? Um, yeah, that makes sense. You know, I will say, though, that if, um, what's the lady's name from Texas that drowned her five babies that really... Oh, her? yeah, Andrea Yates. Uh, Andrea Andrea Yates. Yates. You remember, Yates was convicted, and then, and I might get this wrong, but I think, didn't they overturn it, and then they found her not guilty by reason of insanity? Yes, he, yes, and yeah. she he went to a like mental 10, ward, right, and then right. I think she, didn't she get released? She, well, she did get released to a mental institution, not, not so no, much. No, I, I don't thought know. she got, re- let me see, let me see. Yeah, check that. But she got much better in the insane asylum. But that's truly because she needed that. You know what I mean? Like she was, you know, she was not doing well in prison. Okay, she's in uh, Kerrville State Hospital, a mental health facility where yeah. she remains today. But, but if you if you see anything about her today, it's like she actually admits now and can actually talk about it. And she's actually processing it. And she's obviously she was insane, I guess. A former nurse, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, maybe insane asylums aren't the worst place, but I just Well, there's that not- other mother in uh, Massachusetts that killed all three kids, and the, the husband oh, was saying, man. remember that one that just happened recently? The one that jumped out the window. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, what happened with Andrea God. Gates? Was uh, she originally sentenced to prison? She was. Yes. It, she it, was, uh, let's see. It says. Oh, I think she was 10 years in prison, maybe. Carolyn's got it pulled up. In 2002, she was convicted of capital murder and sentenced to life in prison. Her conviction was later overturned based on false testimony. Second trial in 2006 resulted in a verdict of not guilty by reason of insanity. Yates was sent to Kerrville State Hospital, a mental health facility where she remains today. She has now spent a third of her life institutionalized. So she was in regular prison for like less than five years then. Yates' former attorney and friend, George uh, Parnham, shares how the case changed his career and gives a glimpse of blah, 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 okay. Um, Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. (laughs) Yada, 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 whatever. Oh, wait, she declined. Hold on a minute. I knew it. I knew something. She declined release from the mental hospital. It says, um, nearly oh, 21 wow. years ago, Andrea Yates, I knew there was, she was, she was a bit horrified the nation when she confessed to drowning her five young children in a bathtub of their suburban Houston home. June 20th, 2001, Yates, who was 37 years old at the time, suffered from severe postpartum depression, postpartum psychosis, and schizophrenia. According to a court testimony, she waited for her husband, Rusty, to go to work. When he was gone, she began to drown her children one by one. And after she drowned the children, she called 911, called her husband, and told him to come home from work. She was charged with five counts of capital murder. Her high-profile 2002 trial made national news. It was broadcast live and even landed on the cover of People magazine. But despite the fact that Yates confessed to the murders, The complex case had several twists and turns. The prosecution pushed for the death penalty and primarily focused on victims Noah, 7, and John, 5, Paul, 3, and Luke, 2, Mary, 6 months. But the defense contended that Yates' depression and psychosis caused her to kill her kids and argued that she needed an intensive mental health treatment rather than incarceration. Her husband, Rusty, initially stood beside her. She loved those kids, Rusty said to the crowd of media in 2001, but he later divorced her and remarried. A 2002 jury convicted her of capital murder, but sentenced her to live to life in prison with the possibility of parole after 40 years. Yates' attorneys successfully appealed the case, and the verdict was overturned. After a 2006 retrial, she was found not guilty by reason of insanity. Since uh, January 2007, she's been at that Kerrville State Hospital in Kerrville, Texas. Although she was remanded to the mental facility more than 15 years ago, Yates can undergo a review every year to see if she is now competent to leave the facility. Now 57 years old, Yates... Um, opts each year to waive her right to be reviewed, confirming that she has never undergone a review, choosing instead to continue treatment. Details of her treatment have not been released. Her defense attorney, George Parnum, keeps in contact with Yates and says that Yates 
is happy in the facility. She She's where she wants to be, uh, where she needs to be, Parnum said. And I mean, hypothetically, where would she go? What would she do? Parnum said that Yates grieves for her children every day, often watching home videos of the kids that she killed. She also spends her time making aprons, cards, and gifts in the craft room and anonymously selling them. The money goes to the Yates Children's Memorial Fund, which was founded by Parnum and his wife, May, and dedicated to women's mental health, particularly postpartum mental health. Okay. So she doesn't even want well, to be want reviewed to, to see if she can... They want to let her go? Well, they'll review her. Yeah, but yeah, she's not... Yeah. Wow. I don't know if I agree with that. Hmm. Lisa said, it infuriates me about Letitia lying about being insane. It's like lying about having cancer. Some people are truly suffering with mental illness. Exactly, Lisa. Hi, a lot of compulsive liars lie about having cancer. They have it pretty easy in a mental hospital. A room meeting crafts outside. Yeah, but do the criminally insane get that? Or are you just thinking about a mental health facility? I don't know if she would have it so cushy with all that stuff, as you say. Did I miss Carolyn? You did, Sassy Dorsey. Where you been? Um, let's see. And well, how come nobody asks about the fake pregnancy that she, that Letitia said and told Gannon he was going to have a little brother, remember? Nobody asks about that fake pregnancy. I'm in here asking because I've been a sub... I answered you. I answered you, Lurker. You've been answered. Right? I answered you. What's that lady's name that killed her kids driving Thank in a car? Thank you for listening, Lurker. Susan I appreciate Smith. it. Susan Smith. Susan Smith. No, I'm not the one who was Oh, the other Diane one. Downs? Da Diane Downs. Oh, if yeah. any, he reminds me of Letitia, actually. The, the, Diane Downs being very, if I'm thinking of the right one, isn't she the one that was like super narcissistic and only thought of herself? and Right. Like, she's the one that had... One. Her kids, yeah, and Diane Downs with awesome. the, and then, she yeah. did like a bunch of interviews too, and yeah, like on Oprah, and she was like, a, yeah, like, and uh, Ann Rule wrote a book about her. What was that's it? Right, that's right. Yeah, Fall, little what was something the name like that book? yeah, um, little angels or something gosh, like that. Yeah, that. Diane Downs book. Yeah, it was. Uh, oh gosh. I think it has the word angels in it, but let's something see. Something like that. Yes, yeah, something fallen. Uh, True crime. Oh, trivia. small sacrifices. Yes. Small sacrifices. That's there we it. Go. That's it. Good job. Good job, Senrisa. Is she still in jail? Diane Downs? I think uh, she is. And, and let's see. I'm sure. Diane Downs is currently serving her sentence of life plus 50 years at the Central California Women's Facility in Chowchilla, California, where she's been there since August of 1993. Wow. Yeah. And what was the one with the, uh, the uh, who went to the, her children were stabbed? She had two, she had two surviving children that went to, lead, to live with the lead prosecutor. Oh, Diane Downs? Yep. I knew that the one child survived. They adopted the two children. Oh, uh, nice. Christy Downs, Diane Downs' first child who testified at her trial suffers from a speech disability. Um, Joanne adopted them in 1996. Let's see. Do you remember the lady who had the two little boys, Drake and something, 
it was like all the boys' names started with D, and um, the two boys were downstairs, and the oh, baby was oh, upstairs. Oh, 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 are you talking about the one in Texas? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, what the heck? The one that's, that's she's on death row in Texas. Yeah. What's her? Her? Yeah, Hannah? that's um. Wait, to sit, don't say anything. I'll tell you. Um, wait. isn't this scary? <laughs> yeah. She had the two little boys, and she gave herself, like, a superficial knife wound. Uh, yeah. And yeah. the boys were oh, stabbed yeah. really brutally. Um, oh, gosh. Uh, she's got blonde hair. She did the silly string on the... I feel like I'm playing straight. She did the silly right, string yeah, on like the graves. Uh, Darley Routier. There it is. Good job. Darlie I just have to go yes. through it. It's like, yeah. That's good. I knew it started with a D, and I'm like, what is her name? Yeah. So... That was such a mystery to me. I didn't know if she did it or not. I watched the movie and I was like, I couldn't decide. Mm. Yeah, I know. That was, um, it's just hard to think of as a being a mom. It's hard to think to do it. Like, right. Mm. You know, it's like, what? I don't care how mad I've gotten at my kids. Like, I know. It's like, <coughs> right. hurt. like, and those two babies in the Darlie Riviere case, they were asleep. Like, they weren't even. I know. And it then she like, left the little baby alive. Great. Right. That didn't make any sense. Like, what, what, you know, like, if it was because she wanted, you know, to be, like, life. the little baby was the one that was going to be the most work, right? Yeah. I mean, the other ones. You know, like, that didn't make any sense. Yeah. Hi, Foxy in the right. boxy. Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't make myself believe she did it. I just want, didn't want to believe it. Yeah. It's a tough pill. Tough pill to swallow. Does anybody yeah. evidence resting places? Did they actually? Is he still in evidence or? No, he's buried. Let me see. He's. Uh... Yeah, they got... He's probably been cremated. No, he um, was buried. I... Was he? Mm -hmm. huh. uh... Yeah, he was buried. I buried my son in his in a cemetery in Charleston. Since he was reported missing near the start of the year, it's been Herring Road. Every time they say goodbye to their son, it gets more difficult. But Saturday was especially emotional as they finally laid their little boy to rest in his home state of South Carolina. At 10 o'clock this morning, I buried my sweet son in a cemetery in Charleston, Albert Stouch said. The family stood strong in front of their friends and relatives. Saturday service as they reflected on the goodness in Gannon's heart. He has a smile that just brightens up a room, and that happened at the time he was able to smile. He just had a grace and unbelieving spirit, an unbelieving spirit about him. I guess I can explain it as just an old man. He would just sit and have a heart of gold and do anything for anyone, his mother Landon said. Caroline, I have a question. Question for you. Bubba Bro, was the nicest the person, my only brother, and my favorite brother said his little sister. What'd you say, Al? I have a question from someone in the chat. Okay. Do you recall, from Sandy Sanders, do you recall Al bringing up Letitia trying to burn him as well in the past? I thought that was interesting that he called her out on that. I've never heard that. Trying to burn him? Al. Yeah. No, he, he said that she would manipulate him. Wait, like when they were yeah. talking about the videos, he said she used to do stuff like that, like manipulate him. I think oh, that's okay. what you're thinking of, not burn him, but that may, maybe make a video or do manipulation things like that she was doing. Yeah, Yeah, because I had never heard that. Before. Right. You know, the, the reason I was asking about Gannon was about laying in duress. Somebody had asked. And I was thinking, like, I got him confused with the Valo trial. Because they still have the Valo, um, JJ and Tylee, they still have them in evidence. That's what I got. Which is crazy to me. Um, mm, yeah. They have kept them, like, all these years now. Really? They haven't released them? Nope. They're not. Their bodies aren't released. Mm. And they're in terrible shape. To start off with. Hmm. 
why haven't the remains of J.J. Ballow and Tyler Ryan been released? All I want to do is bury the kids. It's been three years. J.J.'s in a vault right here in town. He's in a freezer. Come on, Judge, let us have him so we can bury him. Just give us the children. Let us do what's right. I can't believe they won't give them to them. Seven-year-old son Joshua and his sister, 16-year-old Tylee, were discovered buried on Chad Daybell's Salem property in June of 2020. Daybell is married to the children's mother, Lori Vallow Daybell. After J.J. and Tylee's remains were found, they were taken to the Ada County Coroner's Office for autopsy. Tylee's body was dismembered and burned, according to court documents, while J.J.'s body was wrapped in tight black plastic and secured with gray duct tape. Authorities have not released a cause of death for either child. The bodies have since been brought back to eastern Idaho, but Woodcock is upset they have not been released to family members for burial or memorial services. While prosecutors have completed autopsies on J.J. and Tylee, defense attorneys have the right to have their own autopsies performed. Both sides can request DNA and other testing on the body, such as when the prosecutors in July asked Judge Stephen Boyce to allow them to collect comprehensive DNA from underneath J.J.'s fingernails. Having their body, bodies in custody for testing from the defense and prosecution helps maintain evidence and the integrity of the case. We do not know as the trial looms what kind of testimony there will be about scientific testing, the respective cause of death of these two children who might have done what to cause their deaths. If prosecutors and defense attorneys agree, it's possible the bodies could be released before the trials concludes. The Woodcocks have previously said they wanted to have a public memorial service for the children in Idaho, Arizona, and their home state of Louisiana. Yeah, I think it's that's most unusual, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah, it is. Right? Yeah. And, and I think they did release that it was asphyxiation, at least for J.J., um, I think they did really set in the trial his cause of death. I don't think they could tell with Tylee because her body is so damaged. Yeah. Hi, I'm in W50. Yeah, that's crazy. So tomorrow's another day of that trial. Yeah, they head off today. They weren't in trial today for Valo. Oh, yeah, I don't mean, I mean, I mean, I'm talking about Letitia. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've been trying to keep up with both, and boy, let me tell you. It's hard. I think it's too hard, and I think it's just too much. I'll just go over. I can't believe that both of them are happening at the same time. I can't believe it either. We've waited. And they were going to have the suitcase trial around the same time, too, but it got pushed back. Thank God. Hey there, um, Lunite, Luni. Lunice, hi Lunice. Welcome to being a deputy rambler. Happy to have you. Lunice. Um, Christine Micro says, your internet is out, Christine Micro? I don't know. It's so overwhelming. Yeah, it is, Lunis, it is. Um. Oh, Tylee was shot. I put a heart made by just said. Mm. Hi, Hal. It's really hard to keep up with Vallo just because, like, I... You have to like listen or whatever. It's so cra- and it's so crazy. I don't know that case has yeah, always just been so stupid. crazy with all those like uh, beliefs and everything. It's I just watched the recap. That's what 20- I mean. That's all I've been doing. And then maybe after this, if I want to listen to that, if I ever get a chance, and I'm driving somewhere and I want to listen to certain <laughs> parts of that. Yeah, yeah. Put that I on will. the. the but this is too it. much. I mean, like even yeah. we're here and we're here and like we we'll say okay. Well, I'll try to do something, but then, like somebody says, it drags you in, and then you have to type something, and then you find out, like, because of the time change, it's like seven o'clock when it ends, 
And yeah. so at least I'll take my phone and I'll, I'll walk, if it's a nice day, I'll walk or, um, you know, bike, at, usually I bike at the end uh, at night, but I'll walk while I listen to it because it's, otherwise your whole day is shot. Yeah. yeah. You know, and but I know people want to talk about it, but it's like, it's crazy how, yeah. with the time change, especially if you're on the East Coast, yeah, it's, it's like that. Talk about it. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, then come, yeah, yeah, because then there's people that have to catch up and then they want to talk about it and you talk about that, yeah. But today it was just so crazy with everything. It's emotionally draining so, too. Yes, it is, Lisa. Yes, it I'm is. I'm so glad we have this recap at night. Yep. This helps so much. That people can catch up and right. talk about uh, it. I know yeah. my job has been crazy busy, and I'm like, don't you realize that the big Two big trials are happening right now, people. <laughs> right, and that's what I'll, that's a one that, that one day I was getting phone calls, and this, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm missing it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, don't you know my hobby is true crime? Like, work? Right, How can I work? yeah. <laughs> Thursday, I have a bunch of meetings, and then Friday, I don't know, just like, yeah. But Thursday, it's good, because I try to schedule things on Thursday. They're not in court. Split so, and have job, right? Yeah, that's, that's why I went on my doctor's appointment last Thursday, and uh, yeah, that was good. Snow donated memberships. It didn't ding. Wow. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I think, wait a minute, let me see why. I think, hmm, that, something's wrong with my stream lights, Kevin. Look, I'll show you something. Look at this. Look at all these lives it says I have set up. Look at this, Kevin. That's not true, and that's not on my YouTube at all. Something is really messed up in my stream lads. Look. Very, very strange. So I don't know if it has anything to do with that or what. It didn't ding. Um, maybe I had my, let me see, alert box. Let's do that and see what happens there. What happens when I do the alert box like that? Does that do anything? Um, I don't know. That's weird. But thank you, Snow. Appreciate that. Um, so, but who became the new members? I see Lou Nice. Hold on, I'm in. I'm not even in live chat. I'm in. Lou Nice. What happened to the other ones, guys? Do you see any kind of a? I don't even see the gift thing, Kevin. Are you sure? I saw it. You saw the gift box? I saw the gift box for five members. Well, five new members. Did we get five new members? It says we have six new members. I guess with Lou, I Lou Nice. I don't, I don't know. Lunice. Lunice oh, is new. Oh, uh, Lunice, yeah. Um, let Lunice, me see. Yeah. I probably can see it on my dashboard. Let's see. Our new members, members, new members, okay, would be Heidi Martinez, Kelly Sweetheart, Eva Pohl, Terry, oh, I haven't seen you in a long time, Terry, and then um, Deborah Van Coeverden, and then Lou Nice. And Juju positive new Sergeant Rambler last night. Very nice, thank you. Um,
Okay, so that's good. Thank you. All right, I think we're going to call it... Uh, you saw something earlier, Julie? I'm going to call it a night because... Oh, that was more than 30 minutes ago, Foxy and the Boxy? It was about an hour ago. Because we've got another day to get back on it uh, tomorrow. So thank you all for coming in. And thank you for being able to simply discuss our differences. Um, yeah. Thanks for coming on, Nicole. Thanks for coming thank on, you. Al. Bye. All right. And uh, I'm going to end this. But Bye, Al. Um, Bye, guys. Bye, Love you. God bless. Prayers. Yeah. Have a good night. Bye, good night, everybody. Let me end this. Where's my